back to the morning session because uh, some of the topics that are debated on the morning, the morning session have to do with the, the afternoon session. So, um, in relation to in relation to the key challenges, um, we we felt. Um, that resources uh, had a reliability problem. So um, it's difficult to, to understand if a resource is or not uh, reliable. And most of it uh, nowadays is, is put online without a proper peer review or without a peer trust or social uh, trust uh, or social validation associated with it. So that, that could be one of the, the, the problems. Um, if it's more expensive to create OER um, content than actually going the traditional way, then maybe that that would be a problem as well. If we take in technology or technological costs, and we take in provisioning associated with um, it, the creation of new content for the online uh, community, then uh, maybe it will not it, it will not make sense um, so that could be one of the, the, the problems as well then we have the question associated with the improvement of quality uh, how do we um, guarantee that quality how do we improve upon traditional methods of, of teaching and learning um, and what makes the online experience or the open education resource experience um, uh, an easier process or a better process uh, for development of coursework or for development of learning. Um, we should try also to understand some of the, the aspects of the open source movement and um, understand if the OER um, content or the OER, the, the resources associated with the OER should also go the open source way or, or are they riding the open source bus without answering the right questions? So um, do people create because they want to be uh, known uh, by their peers or do people create with another sort of motive or with a, with a, um, a better motive? Um, create because they want people, other people to learn uh, create because they want to sh share knowledge. Um, how can this knowledge be tested? Or how can this, this product that is being created be tested? Uh, in software it's easier because if it does not work, if people know about it because there's an error, the computer will not work or whatever. Here, how do we test this, this problem? Um, then uh, we talked about, you know, also in the morning session, about the OER push. Um, we have content, use it. So that was one of the, the phrases that, that came up. So we're producing a lot of on, online content, we're pro producing a lot of open resources, and we need people to use them. Um, so in a certain way, we're, we're imposing our culture. We're imposing uh, a way of thinking. Uh, other, other countries might not um, accept the content that we are creating. Our cultures might not uh, react positively <coughs> to, to that content. So we have a problem with culture and we have a problem with the pushing of our, our OER produce per se. Then we'll go to the, the afternoon session where we came up with a new name for OPAL was getting open educational resources right, no word. And uh, <laughs> it's associated with, with the idea of OE, uh, the open educational resources, and three principal aspects, which are content, uh, um, methods, and effectively the tools that support this content and, and this, these methods. So for us to um, obtain the goal of the OPAL project, we have to discuss uh, thoroughly each of these, these aspects and we have to have an answer 
uh, for some of the questions that are being asked here. So, um, this brought us up to the openness concept. What is open? I mean, how, um, how do we um, define something as, as being open? What restrictions are associated with with uh, this openness concept. If we look at the OPPO website, we, we have Creative Commons, um, or we have uh, taken on the Creative Commons um, way of, of, uh, <coughs> of controlling content in some form. So for non-commercial uh, um, <coughs> commercial purposes, our content, the content that we produce, may be reproduced and it may be reworked. But for commercial, for, for commercial purposes, this, this may not be the case. So it's, it's important for us to know, um, well, it's, it's important for us to challenge this, this idea associated with the non-commercial um, aspect, which may be a minefield associated with the OER that we, we produce. Other aspects are the no the derivatives or the no restrictions or share alike um, or the attribution through remixing of content. So we have a lot of minefields associated with content because content prints or initially is copyrighted. Uh, even if we say that it's that it's free, um, we have to assume that it's we have to, to, to recommend that it, that it be free because it, we assume that content also uh, always has an, an intellectual property, at least. So, um, for Opal to, to produce the results that it expects to produce, there must be um, a way of getting around this issue of openness. Um, of achieving a model that is a workable model, which is sustainable as well, um, and it must um, it must understand thoroughly um, this issue associated with non-commercial rights, this issue associated with copyright uh, as a whole. So, for us, this idea of commercial, non-commercial um, use is a very big issue associated with, with OER and how we produce uh, OER. Uh, 